I love stuff like this. This is so neat to me. So they, they recently did an archaeological dig out in Egypt, and they found one of Pharaoh's child's toys. So like the prince of Egypt, what he would have been playing with whenever he was a baby. And I just think this is so neat because it's actually not that far off from stuff that our kids are still playing with today. It's the same idea. It's a, a, a game toy that's meant to teach motor function. I just think this is so neat. So this is obviously a replica. Uh, and obviously also across the country today, if you saw this toy, it'd be made of plastic. But we're talking about the king's child here. So they pulled out all the stops. It was made of gold and precious metals. But this is a really nice replica of it. It shows you what they found. So it's got Pharaoh head on the front. And then the little scarabs on the side, the, you know, the little beetles. Pyramid on the back. And some hieroglyphs. More, more beetles there. This is just so neat. It's like a little carrying case. And inside is the toy itself. And it's blocks. It's a set of five blocks that all sort of stack up on top of each other. And it teaches the kid about motor skills. And I guess it also kind of teaches them in a way about, about order of things, going from largest to smallest. This is definitely representative of a pyramid, too. It's got the four sides, and, you know, it kind of comes to a point. So I'm sure you can imagine Dad the Pharaoh saying, you look out back, son, you see what they're building out there? This is your own. <laughs> so the child sitting there building his own little pyramid, just like, just like Daddy. I just think it's so neat. Um, but they're stacked up. What's some, something that we don't understand fully about this? Here, if you put the travel case on it, Something we don't understand is if you take this and look very clearly turn it upside down, right, that should disturb everything, right? So now the smallest one's on the bottom and then the next largest and now the largest one's on top. So as we go now, it's like an upside down pyramid, which of course we don't see out in Egypt. So I, this is sort of, I don't know, it's fascinating. If you turn the Pharaoh's head back upright like that, now the stack of blocks is, it's still largest on the bottom and then the next, it's stacked up still in perfect order, which I don't, it makes me wonder if their actual pyramids have this kind of technology. We just don't know because we've never tried to turn it upside down. But somehow this little toy pyramid model stays stacked up from largest to smallest. Here, let's, let's do it again. Put it in this little carrying case, turn it upside down. And you have to turn Pharaoh's head. I don't know what this does, but it's something about turning Pharaoh's head makes it go it just always stays. It's the craziest thing. I don't know. I have no clue, but I just think it's so cool to imagine the little prince of Egypt stacking his blocks, chewing on some metal, having a good old time. <laughs>